Manuel Dean, not pork chop. <laughs> it was a funny little comedy, and I mean, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, actually, it was a joke, I guess, through Dre and uh, and Suge, and you know, everybody. I guess as they were putting their little characters together for the Death Row camp, they wanted me to live out this pork chop scene, and I was like, pork chop. Now you know what Dr. Trey looked like, right? <laughs> everybody know what Dr. Trey looked like. He cool. One of the world's most talented people, but it's like calling him Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you trying to live with that. I need to ask you a question, Dre. How would you like if I put on the record, Mr. Potato Head, thanks to Mr. Potato Head, how would you like that? You know what I'm saying? And never get no recognition throughout the whole wide world. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple of handshakes at the bar, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're uh, alone, but as far as any worldwide credibility, why couldn't it be a Emmanuel Dean instead of Port Shop? That's what I would have really loved, you know what I mean? But I know I did Jenny Juice, you know what I'm saying? And I know Dr. Dre cannot play any music. He, he did definitely uh, made the beat, and you know what I mean? But I mean, as far as the music was concerned, he watched, and I definitely did what I had to do, you know? And I asked him for credit and money, and, and when he said for what, I already had a publishing deal the day before offered to me by YMY, so I let him answer the way he wanted to answer, and when he said, for what? I said, okay, cool. Right then and there, I was like, okay, I'm going, with, I'm going to go with EMI. I saw the next day, I came back to him and I told him, you know what? It was on a Tuesday. It was Monday when I talked to him. It was Tuesday the next day when I came back to him. I said, Friday's my last day. You know? And you know what I mean? I think I made about probably five or six thousand dollars working with him. And I did Gin and Juice and I did Snoop Doggy Dog on the second day I knew Dr. Dre. The second day I knew him, I did Snoop Doggy Dog. Where did I didn't you get a platinum record. Hey, yo, Dre, I, I never got a platinum record or nothing from Death Row Records, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, um, I don't know. You know, I talked to him at the Shark Bar one time, and he said, why do you think I got out of it, you know? And, you know, I'm like, I can't even feel you, Dre. I mean, you know, you let everybody get fucked over by Sugar or whomever it was, and you ran, and then it's all of a sudden my situation you know, where you left, nobody got took care of. I mean, you know, I, he has love for people. I've seen him come back and help people, and you know what I'm saying? So, and like I said, I'm not dissing him, you know, like by any means, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just very, uh, I'm, I'm very taught of that lesson now. I know what's happening, you know what I mean? Was, were anybody in the dog pound aware that you did these things? Hell yeah, all of them. So, every last one of the motherfuckers. Every last one of the motherfuckers. Every last one of them, and even Dr. Dre. They, uh, he, Dr. Dre doesn't discredit, I guess. I don't know what happened. You know what? I remember what happened. We were at the Village Recorder. I think it was the day they were doing the album credits. He walked down the steps, and he said, they fucked you on the credits. And this is a guy that said, do you want to get paid? And maybe jump in the Lexus off Venice and Vinton Boulevard. And we went skiing down the street to go to the Complex Studios. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving him all this music and doing everything he says, and it's all gravy and stuff. And he didn't even give him ideas that he don't even know about and everything like a creator, somebody who needs publishing for what they do. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get anything. You know what I'm saying? They fucked you on the credit fee. That's what he said. And that's all that happened. Extra special thanks to a pork chop, a piece of fucking meat. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, okay, you know, so this is what I had to live with. You know what I'm saying? But I can prove that I help make millions to the world. You know what I'm saying? I got people in China drinking gin and juice because of Dr. Dre and me. And I never got my credit. And you know what? I still want it. You know what I'm saying? I still want my credit. Who made the track for gin and juice? Uh, my homeboy Emmanuel Dean. You know what I mean? He played all the keyboards and all the melodies. And, you know what I mean? And Dr. Dre, he came up with the drums, but he should have gave him some credit some of them. What other song did he What's do? What's my name? All that one, 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 all that shit, you know what I mean? All that keyboard shit, that's Emmanuel. He was young, we was young, you know what I mean? And, you know, they made a deal, whatever it is, for X amount of dollars, whatever it is. And hey, that's the truth. <laughs>